Hello everyone and welcome. This is Allison Okamitsu here from nicepeoplestamp.com. Thank you for joining me on my live crafting show today. It has been a while, so I thought I would pop on as I shared a card on my, or a couple of cards on my blog today, and I've gotten a couple of questions. So I thought, you know what? It's Wednesday. I'll go live at my regular time and I'll share how I did a couple of things on these great cards. So I'm excited to share with you some two-tone stamping, a beautiful blended background, and I have a stack of happy mail to share with you too. So lots going on in today's video. Let me just make sure that it's all queued up and I can see your comments because of course I want to see you to say hello when you get here. I absolutely love crafting with you and for you and it's just so fun to be able to share that with you live here on YouTube. So if you are not yet a subscriber, I hope you'll click the subscribe button and then click the little bell so you never miss when I have a live video or pre-recorded video. And um, yeah, it's all crafty things here, which is a super fun time. So I hope that you will enjoy today's video and decide to subscribe. So we have, like I said, a really fun um, project to do today and it's featuring cards that are already on my blog um, just because I got a couple of comments about those cards and um, yeah I just want to show you how to do them because they're so easy but so beautiful and the bundle that I'm using today is called Sending Smiles so the Sending Smiles bundle is super cute so here's the stamp set we've got some gorgeous florals and matching dies of course I love a matching die set Okay, so these dies are really cool in that there's um, some like labels, some word dies, imagery, there's a lot to be had there. So we're gonna have a lot of fun today. And like I said, I have a big stack of happy mail to share with you too. The other thing I wanna tell you about, my Sending Smiles online class is closing tonight, okay? So I have an online class featuring that beautiful bundle. That class is closing this evening. I'll be ordering all the supplies and getting those class packets ready. So if you wanna check out the information, there is a link in the video description. Do not wait to sign up. Like I said, it's closing tonight. Um, it's a beautiful class, such a great stamp set and dies. And I'd love to have you join me. You can stamp with me in this online class from anywhere in Canada. I ship packages all across the country. So no matter where you live in the country, you can go ahead and join me for the online class. But don't wait because <laughs> when the clock strikes, you know, well, midnight, sure, midnight. <laughs> That'll be the end of it. <laughs> okay, so make sure you say hello in the comments. I love to hear from you. We're gonna get into some happy mail. I've got lots of fun things to share. So you know what, let's just turn this camera down. We're gonna look at some happy mail and then we're gonna start stamping. So let's just get into it. We're here to have a good time, so let's go. All right, so bear with me as I adjust our view a little. Okay, we're just going to take a peek at my desk here. All right, so you can kind of see my stack of happy mail. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done a live video. I was um, traveling quite a bit. I had a bad fall and broke um, my tailbone. So, um, and then we had um, some personal things go on. So I haven't been able to be live for a very long time. So I have a fun stack of happy mail here to share. So let's get into it. Without further ado, let me kind of move it aside because if I can, I'd like to say who the happy mail is from without um, sharing the message because I, I know that sometimes the messages can be a little personal. So um, the first little pieces of happy mail I have are from when I attended Stampin' Up's on stage event. I received a couple of swaps. Let's move this to be a little bit better situated here. Okay, so this is one of the beautiful swaps I received. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that designer paper. And this one is from Leanne Livingstone. So gorgeous. The next card I have here, this one doesn't have a name on it. This was also a swap from when I attended on stage in Vancouver. So on stage is a demonstrator only um, 
all day event, which is super fun. We had such a good time in Vancouver. It was so good. So this was a birthday card I received. This one is from my fabulous downline, Joe. Beautiful card and it has a pocket on the inside. She was kind enough to send me one of my favorite gift cards, <laughs> which is Starbucks. All right, the next card I have here is from another team member. Her name's Sue, isn't that fabulous? Love that. We're gonna go a little bit fast because I have um, quite a few here to share. So this one is from my friend Diana Gibbs. She did a um, stamping presentation in a demonstrator event that I held. And so this is the card she shared and then she was kind enough to send it to me. I thought that was so lovely. And we have a, another birthday card. This is from my team member, Denise. Thank you, Denise. And another birthday card. This one is from my lovely customer, Sandy. Isn't that beautiful? Such a striking layout there. Thank you, Sandy. I think this one is so cute. This one is from my team member, Karen. I think she did such a great job. Really simple, but just so, so beautiful. And for those of you who don't know, my birthday is on Halloween. This one is from my team member, Krista. Oh, this one is so fun. This is from my team member, Karen. Isn't that so cute with the gnomes? I just love that one. So, so cute. All right, so this past weekend I held um, my in-person retreat and one of my customers, Norma, made these fun candy cane pouches for everyone. So thanks, Norma. This card here is from one of my best friends. Her name's Shannon. Beautiful handmade card. And this one here is from my friend Robin. It actually like ties up in a bow, really super pretty. That was also for my birthday. Then we have one from my team member, Krista. This was for Canadian Thanksgiving. Yes, it has been that long since I've shared my happy mail. <laughs> All right, next one is from my team member, Denise. Isn't that beautiful? I love all the color there. Okay. Another one here, this one is from my team member, Marion. Isn't that great how she used this stamp set and then oh, the dies, I just think it's so great. She did a great job there. And oh, I love this one. This is a stamp set that's in the holiday catalog. This is a card made by my team member, Karen. And I think she just did such a fun job. That card or cardigan stamp on this card, I just think is so precious. If you're looking for that one, it is in the holiday catalog, okay? So this one is from a fellow demonstrator named Tamara. So she heard that I broke my tailbone and sent me this really fun card. This is not good, isn't that cute? So thanks Tamara. And then I have this one from my customer, Sandy. So again, Sandy had heard about my tailbone and um, she sent that beautiful card. And then this one is from my friend Melody. I had sent her a gift and then she sent me this absolutely stunning thank you card. Thank you, Melody. And then last one here is from my customer, Norma. Again, she had heard about my tailbone and so she sent a beautiful um, Feel Better Soon card. So that is a catch up from the Happy Mail that I have received over the last little while. Lots of fun creations. So if you sent some Happy Mail, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And um, yeah, just so many beautiful cards. I am absolutely so grateful to have so many wonderful people in my life who like to share card making and stamping and you know pop them in the mail to me that's really really special so let's get these out of the way because I want to create our beautiful card that I have for you today oh so many great cards I've been enjoying them all over my house so I had to kind of round the map <laughs> to do the video today all right Okay, so the card I'm creating today is using the Sending Smiles bundle. So again, this bundle is the feature of my current online class, 
class is closing tonight so <laughs> there is a link in the video description to get all the details you can join me for this online class anywhere in canada but I have some cards on my blog today using this bundle that I wanted to share with you because I have gotten a couple of emails today about like, okay, can you explain that a little better or whatever? So I thought, let's just do a video. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to create a background for my card. So I've just got some grid paper here and I have a piece of my basic white card stock. This is four inches by five and a quarter. Okay, I've got one of my beautiful blending brushes here. <coughs> Pardon me. I love these blending brushes. They're all these fine little bristles. I don't know if you can see them, like these little tiny hairs. And they're just so perfect for inking up backgrounds and such. All right, I don't know why I can't see your comments, but if you have not yet left me a comment, pop into the comments and say hi, because I would love to hear from you. Um, now I have a really beautiful color combo for today. We're going to start with Mary Merlot. It is just so, so pretty, a color that I don't use often, but when I do use it, I'm always like, oh, why don't I use that color more often? So I'm going to take my Mary Merlot and I want to create kind of like this blended look, um, that starts on the left and goes to the right. So I'm just going to ink up my blending brush and I just inked this ink pad up today. So it's quite juicy. So I'm just going to start from, I, I, I mean, now it looks like I'm starting from the bottom, but this will be the left hand side. And I'm just going to add that Mary Merlot ink and kind of go across. Oh, I put some hand lotion on and you can kind of see my fingerprints a little bit, but we'll try and blend that out. I almost never put on hand lotion because of things like that, but my hands were in rough, rough shape. So I kind of had no choice. <laughs> All right, so Mary Merlot, and I'm just gonna add some more onto my blending brush here and then just kind of add along that edge because I want it darker to lighter. Okay, there we go. And these blending brushes give you this beautiful color. Oh, I can see a comment now. Okay, good. So how did you break your tailbone? Um, I actually fell down the stairs at a friend's house. So um, yeah, it was extremely painful, still is, unfortunately. So yeah, I fell down the stairs at a friend's house. As you can imagine, I hit my tailbone right on the edge of the stairs and the rest is history. So I've been trying to rest up and recover because from what I've heard from many people is the tailbone um, takes a long time to heal, but also I've heard from a lot of people that they've broken theirs and it never really healed properly. So when I went to the doctor, he said three to six months. Um, so I am trying to give it a lot of time um, to feel better. All right, so now that I've blended that beautiful color, and I mean, look how gorgeous. And it just took using my blending brush Okay, and my Mary Merlot ink pad. Super, super simple, but really, really pretty. And I'm going to emboss this with the brick and mortar embossing folder. So it sees, um, it looks like a brick wall. And I'm just gonna put this in here and close it up and run it through my machine. And it looks so pretty. I think it just adds that extra bit of fancy onto your project, especially doing the blending first, I find with this one, because it makes it look so seamless and then we emboss it. I just love that look. So really, really pretty. Okay, so we've got our background ready. I think that is looking gorgeous. But now I want to stamp my images for my project. So if you saw the card from earlier today on my blog, then you know, or if you saw maybe the thumbnail from the video, then you know that I'm gonna do some two-tone stamping. And there's a couple of ways you can do this. I have just some scrap of my basic white cardstock, 
And like I said, there's a couple of ways you can do this. I just re-inked this ink pad today, so I have to do it a certain way because it's just so inky. I'm using Blushing Bride and Mary Merlot. However, if your ink pad isn't super juicy, what you can do is ink up in your lighter color and then kind of roll the edge of your stamp in the darker color. But because mine is so juicy, it just kind of overtakes um, the look of my stamp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ink it up in my Blushing Bride, take my Mary Merlot on a sponge dauber and just add some into that bottom edge and then I'll stamp it down. Isn't that beautiful? So let me go ahead and clean my stamp and do a couple of more. Okay, so I've got my stamp and scrub and my mist here. There we go. So I'll just ink it up in Blushing Bride and add my Mary Merlot along the bottom edge. Hello, Linda, welcome. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love how this looks. So I'll give it a little wash. My first one looks a little bit blotchy. I think my stamp might've been wet because I was doing some stamping earlier with it and I just cleaned it. So some Mary Merlot along the edge there. There we go. And you just get this beautiful two-toned floral. And it just looks so pretty. And the Mary Merlot and Blushing Bride together are such a beautiful combo. So I only need three flowers for my project today. I've stamped four, but let me bring those up to the camera to show you. So you get that beautiful two-tone and it's super simple. And like I said, you can use, um, you can roll your stamp into the ink, the second color. Um, but I did use the sponge dauber because I re-inked my Mary Merlot, so it's super juicy. Okay, so there are my florals. I do need to add the center of my floral, and I'm going to do that in early espresso. Okay. So we're gonna ink up that center and stamp it down and you get just these beautiful, these are like echinacea flowers or what are they? I think they're called brown eyed Susans. You know, I don't need that bottom one, so I'm not gonna bother with that. So we've got just the most gorgeous flowers. Okay, we also need a sentiment, so I might as well stamp that while I have my early espresso out. I'm going to stamp birthday wishes. There we go. And I need some greenery for my card as well. So I've got my old olive ink pad and I've got a couple of different greeneries here from that same stamp set, the Sending Smiles. So old olive, let's stamp that down like that. Okay, and then I also need another one here. I just have all these kind of random white scraps because um, they were left over from a project that I was working on. So I didn't do a very good job stamping that one. There we go. Okay, so we have our beautiful pieces all stamped. So we can go ahead and cut them out. But I mean, look at this color combo. Isn't that pretty and so unexpected, especially for me. Like these are not my general colors, um, but I love how these cards turned out. So let's bring in our stamp and cut and emboss machine again, because I need to do some die cutting. Okay, so I've got my machine here. So if you love these cards, make sure you go on over to my blog today and look at um, not only the cards, but the details for my online class. Like I said, this online class is closing tonight. So make sure that you sign up ASAP if you'd like to join me. I just think this class is so beautiful and I'd love to share it with you. And as I mentioned, you can stamp with me from anywhere in Canada with my online classes as um, I can ship them anywhere in the country. All right, so I'm going to use some of my post-it tape to keep my dies in place. Okay, 
So if you don't have this stuff, it's great. You can find it in my Amazon store. There is a link in the video description. So let's run through a couple of our dyes at once. We don't have to get too crazy, but we might as well do some. So let's do our sentiment as well. With my sentiment, I want it kind of more to the left-hand side than the right. You can see I'm leaving a little bit of a gap there on the right. So let's run that through. You know what? Let's get crazy. With this post-it tape, I feel like I can, I can get wild. I can do a lot at once. So I'm going to put this one on as well. Famous last words, right? Like, I can do it, and then hopefully not. Because, you know, it's live on YouTube. We can't change it if I mess it up, but it's okay. All right, so let's run those through. There we go. All right, I love that I'm seeing in the comments where you're tuning in from. I hope that if you're loving today's video, you've chosen to subscribe to my channel. I always love sharing my crafty adventures with you. <laughs> All right, so we've got our first bit of greenery out and ready. We've got some more greenery here. Looking lovely. And we have our sentiment. So all of these dyes are from the Sending Smiles bundle. So I love when we get a bundle that has like label dyes and words and imagery. I think it's so fabulous because I can just use that bundle like so much more because there's just so much more in it. So let's die cut our flowers now. We're gonna need to do all three of these. So we'll just get that set up here and run it on through. There we go. All right. So another thing that I wanted to mention is I have a fabulous demonstrator event coming up on February 11th. If you're in Canada and a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, this is an amazing event that I've been running for a couple of years and I would love to have you join me. I have a link in the video description with all of the details. Um, I have some fabulous stampers joining me from all over the world. I'm very lucky to have some very talented friends who are going to be sharing with us as well. It is an all day event. Like I said, it's on February 11th. You cannot miss it. It is so good. Um, like I said, I've been running this event for a couple of years and it's super popular and we just have a great time. Okay, so flowers are done. Okay. We can go ahead and put our card together now. So let me move this stuff out of the way. go. All right, so we have our pieces that we've assembled or gotten ready, I should say. And then I'm going to put this onto a basic white card base. So this is a card that kind of stands tall um, and it opens up like this. So it's four and a quarter by 11 inches scored at five and a half. Okay. First thing I wanna do is put on my beautiful sponged background piece, the piece that we sponged and embossed. I've got my seal adhesive. Well, I will, it's empty, I need to refill it. So have you ever done this before? Maybe you've never had to do this before. So when your seal runs out, okay, so let's just pretend there's one that's all used up inside. You just open up the case and you can get a refill. Let me just open this up, okay? So the refill just comes in this little Ziploc bag and you just line up these um, two holes with the two little spindles here. There we go. And close your case back up and you're back in action. So I'll take this and add some seal onto the back. And we'll put that down. Isn't that so pretty already? That beautiful sponging, um, well, blending, I should say, with the blending brush. 
And now we want to create our floral showpiece. So I want to start by making kind of like a, I don't know how to explain it, but I want to extend my greenery to make it a little bit taller. So all I'm going to do is take this piece and you can see it's two pieces. And I'm just going to tuck it in there and then I'm going to hold it together with a little bit of a mini dimensional. I think, I think the minis are the perfect size to go in there. So let me grab a mini. There we go. And we'll just stick those pieces together. Okay, so we've got our beautiful greenery. Now I want to add my flowers. So let's go ahead and put one down here and I can use my full size dimensionals for this. So we're just gonna put one here and I'll stick it on with my dimensional. Next, we can do the next kind of stem up. Okay, and again, just using a dimensional to hold it into place. There we go. And then we've got one right up top here. Again, using a dimensional, we can just hold that floral right into place and it'll make it so when we put our card together, everything's dimensionaled, right? Has some pop. So I do wanna add some extra dimensionals just in a couple of places. So like right here, and then do we need a mini anywhere? Hmm, do, 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 maybe right in here, okay? So what I'll do is I'll take those backings off. And you can notice I didn't put any in the bottom of the stem, which is looking like the top right now, <laughs> because I'm going to put my sentiment under it. Okay, so we'll put our beautiful floral on. Isn't that looking gorgeous? Okay, beautiful. And then we have our sentiment. And our sentiment is gonna get tucked under just kind of like that. So I'll take some of my mini dimensionals and put them on the back side. They're the perfect size for this little label found in this set. There we go. So some mini dimensionals going down. So I was thinking about this card today and all the different color combinations I could do. And I was thinking, wouldn't this be beautiful in like Bermuda Bay and pool party? Like the Bermuda Bay where the Merlot is and the pool party where the blushing bride is. I think I might have to try that. So I thought that would be super duper pretty. So let's put our birthday wishes Okay, and then if you want, you can stick down that little stem. You can just kind of put a little bit of your liquid adhesive on the back side. It's not necessary, but you can just in case you're worried about it slipping around. Okay, so we can get that stuck to there. Okay, beautiful, right? So the last thing I want to do. I have another card to share with you as well, so don't rush off. But the last thing I wanna do is I'm gonna add some of my beautiful opal rounds. My original card had some of the festive sequins. However, I've used them all up. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the opal rounds on this card. So I've got some here. Actually, let me use the little spatula end. I find it works better for these bigger embellishments. So let's put some up here. Oh, so beautiful. Kind of over in here. And then maybe a third. Oh. Over there. So that is our gorgeous card for today. So let me bring that up to the camera to show you. Did not turn out gorgeous. I hope you love it. So we've got that beautiful blended background, our two-tone florals, some beautiful embellishments to top it off. And then let me show you my original. So this is the original that had the sequins rather than the opal rounds. So you can see the sequins there. And then this is another version of this card I made. So this one is kind of like a stepped up version. It has a little bit more going on. So I use the beautiful die 
again, all found in this Sending Smiles bundle. So I used these two dies and put them on top. I did some more of the florals. And then I also did this fun peekaboo with the Mary Merlot cardstock on the corners. So that is the beautiful Sending Smiles cards I have to share with you today. It is just such a pleasure to stamp with you and for you. If you'd like more details about these cards, they can be found on my blog today at nicepeoplestamp.com. There's also a direct link in the video description. And final reminder, if you want to join me for this online class, make sure you reach out to me ASAP because um, we're using this fabulous bundle. We're not making these cards. They're different cards. They are a secret just for my class members. So if you'd like to join me for that Sending Smiles online class, make sure you reach out. And I hope you enjoy today's video and will subscribe to my channel. And... If you need some crafty products, you can shop with me from anywhere in Canada at shopnicepeoplestamp.com. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you had a great time watching me craft tonight. Maybe you crafted along with me. And I'll be back to stamp with you again soon. Bye.